day, a day special day for us women and even for myself. A day which will put all focus on women, celebrate women's achievements, and to take note of any constraints or impediments that are in the way, and how, as women and men together, in partnership, we can overcome a lot of things so that women can continue to rise. You know, uh, there's no better story than a story where you hear of a woman who's been promoted, be it in the corporate ladder, someone has been made chairman of a board, someone has been made chief executive. And I'm so glad that coincidentally, um, I seem to be one of those that are being celebrated because now I've been appointed the first female editor of the Herald. It is an appointment I take, don't take for granted. It is an opportunity that I'm holding with both hands. It is a very challenging seat, I must add, but I believe um, it can be done. We need support, we need teamwork, so I know it can be done. So I'm very confident that it, it can happen. What I have noticed with a lot of these things where women must rise is that sometimes we like patience, or sometimes we feel we are being hard done, but maybe we are going through the process. You know, for God to be purified, it is thrown into fire and it comes out purified. So sometimes what we've gone through as women, I'm not justifying anything. Sometimes it is to prune us, it is to build us for future positions that we may be asked to, to hold. So I'm just saying today women need to be assertive. Women need to be focused on how they want to advance. And I'm coming out of a conference or a workshop where we were talking about the need for women to, to hold each other's hands, that we are thy sister's keeper, such that we can move together as women. I remember um, talking about an issue where we are saying men do network, men do lift each other up. After hours, men meet somewhere and they are drinking and they are talking and they are making progress, even deals are being signed. So women, we need to learn and learn very fast from such initiatives where we as women can come together and also be able to share ideas, open opportunities for each other. You know, there's a saying that says when you light a candle, it doesn't mean to shine better than you. Candles, even 100 candles in your room, will still shine and they'll give the same brightness. So it's not harmful to light another candle. So as women, we need to learn that, to know that networking is important. Mentoring is key. So that sometimes the young ones that are upcoming do not have to reinvent the wheel. But there are those that have been moved through that journey that can lift others up, that they achieve, that they can avoid even pitfalls. That already the mentors that you encounter. So I look at the future for women and I see it's bright. The beauty of it, what I'm noticing um, these days is that men are also willing to help women rise. So that is a very positive thing that we needed. The attitude by men are changing. Not to say there are those that still don't want to see a woman rising. Yes, there are plenty in number. Here in Zimbabwe, even globally, there are many who don't want to see women rise because they think women do not have capacity to hold top positions. But I think the world is a fleet of examples of women who have made it and have performed even better than men themselves. So ours, I would say, it's not a confrontation. We are not advocating for confrontation of men, fighting even physically with men so that we achieve. But we're saying we can be partners in development. We have, for us, we have a vision to indicate as a country to achieve. We cannot be achieved by men alone. We cannot be achieved by women alone. But we have to team up as men and women and forge our path and rise together. That, I think, can give us or can yield uh, the Zimbabwe that we want. So I guess that is what I have to say for now. Thank you.